It's good to see you all this evening. Let us pray and go right into the Word. Oh, Father in heaven, we pray for your Holy Spirit to be poured out. I pray that you will hide me behind the shadows of the cross of Calvary so that I will not be seen nor heard but that Jesus might be seen and Jesus might be heard. You tell us, if, tell us if Jesus be lifted up. He would draw all people to him. So Father, draw us closer to you, O Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, tonight's subject. Tonight's subject is the cross and you. The cross and you. A number of years ago, there was a medical university doing stress testing. They wanted to find out how much stress human beings could handle. How much pressure can we take without breaking? Interesting enough, they chose to do the experiments with lambs. Lambs? Yes. They took a lamb and put it in a pen. So that they could see the lamb. But the lamb could not see out of the pen. The researchers placed different feeding stations in the pen. And they hooked up, they hooked up electric to the feeding stations. <coughs> Each time the lamb would go to the feeding station, the researchers would shock the lambs. Very anxiously, the lamb began to run. Would go to the next feeding station. And then would be shocked once again. Finally, they shocked the lamb at every single feeding station. You see, lambs are not very smart animals. And these particular lambs were nervous and anxious. As it stumbled to the center of the pen, as it stumbled to the center Aha, of the pen, the lamb began to quiver. Had a nervous breakdown. And died. You see, the load of anxiety on the lamb was too much. So they took the twin of the lamb and put it in the same pen. The twin. But there was one difference this time. They put the mother of the lamb in the pen with it. As the lamb went to the first feeding station and began to eat, 
kad je išao na to jagnje na prvo to mjesto gdje je bila hrana i počelo jesti the researchers shocked the lamb ponovo su pustili struju and what do you think this lamb did i šta mislite šta je to jagnje učinilo and this time it looked up at its mother gledalo je ovog puta je gledalo prema svojoj majci ba ba i počelo da se dakle And the mama went back, bah, bah. A mati je natrag plakala, isto tak, be, be, ili mjau, kak se kaže. This time, the little lamb did not run from the first feeding station, but kept eating. Ovoga puta to jagnje nije pobeglo od tog prvog mjesta, nego je dalje hranu uzimalo. So the researchers wondered what is actually happening here. Pa su tako se pitali ovi ispitivači šta se dogodilo s tim jagnjetom. As they continued to shock the lamb, kako su dalje puštali struju na to jagnje, it continued to ba at his mom, ono je dalje puštalo te zvukove na svoju mater, ovcu. The lamb kept eating and would be shocked again. To jagnje je dalje jelo and would be As the lamb would go back to its mom, the mother sheep would whisper something in the little lamb's ear. Now this is where the scientific research began to break down. Onda to je to gdje je taj put ispitivanja se je prekinuo ili pokvario. They're not sure what the mother actually said. Oni nisu mogli shvatiti šta bi ta ovca mogla reći svom janjetu. But the little lamb ran back and ate exactly where she was eating before. Ali to malo jagnje se vratilo tamo i jako je dobilo struju i opet dalje jelo. So what's the difference? Prema tome šta je bila razlika? The first lamb had no place to go. Prvo jagnje nije imalo kuda otići, kod koga? The second lamb had security in that there was somebody else to go to. To drugo jagnje je imalo tu osiguranje ili sigurnost da je moglo otići. Somebody else who could bear the burden. Somebody else who could bear the burden. Bije tu neko drugi koji je mogao tu taj teret podnijeti. So the question tonight is, who can bear our burdens when the stresses of our life kad smo u stresu i napetosti weigh us down? I kad nas život, dakle, uništava. Who can handle our guilt, our worry, and our anxieties? Who može podnositi i nositi naše probleme i stres? Who can give us true security? Who nam može dati tu pravu sigurnost? Is there any place of security that we can all run to? Na postoji neko mjesto sigurnosti gdje možemo otrčati. Now remember, we have a theme each night. Kao što znate, mi imamo svako veće jednu temu. If it's in the Bible, I want it. Aha. Ako je u Bibliji, znači onda ja to hoću. If it's not in the Bible, ako nije u Bibliji, we don't want it. Mi nećemo to prihvatiti. From Revelation chapter 1 all the way to chapter 22, u otkrivenju poglavlja prvo pa sve do 22. poglavlja, We find security in the name of Jesus. Mi nalazimo tu sigurnost u imenu Isusa Krista. We can trust him with all of our cares and our insecurities and our stress. Možemo se njemu povjeriti sa svim našim problemima i distres i poteškoćama. And of all the symbols of Christ in Revelation, i svi ti simboli Isusa Krista u otkrivenju, the symbol of a dying lamb is the most prominent and the most precious. Ova slika o umirućeg jagnjeta je najviše upečatljiva i najviše istaknuta. It is found more times than any other. Pojavljuje se više puta nego bilo koja druga. Jesus is described as a lamb 27 times in Revelation. How many? 27. Oh, right. A imamo tamo. On se pojavljuje kao jagnjet 27 puta u otkrivenju. This brings us to our first few verses tonight. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 6. The word of God says, 
vi vidje, posled prijestolja i četiri ubića i posled starješina stoji kao zaklan jaganjac. You see, a bloody lamb is seen up in heaven. A bloody lamb is seen up in heaven. Ja, to jagnje koje je krvarilo se vidi tu na nebu. As though it was slain. Kao da je bilo zaklano. It was still standing in the midst of the throne. Ali je još uvijek tamo stajalo u sredini. Which brings us to Revelation 13. Koje nas dovodi do otkrivenja 13. glave. And verse 8. The word says, kaže ovako, Janje koje je žrtvovano od postanja svijeta. Why would God in the book of Revelation zašto bi Bog u knjizi otkrivenja choose something as helpless, weak, innocent and dumb as a lamb uzeo nešto što je tako slabašnjo, nejako i čak i nerazumno, neinteligentno kao što je Janje. To represent his son Jesus. Da bi predstavljalo svog sina Isusa. We're going to go back. I vratit ćemo se natrag. Through the Bible. Kroz Bibliju. And we're going to trace some symbolism of the Lamb. I vidit ćemo nekoliko tih simbola o jagnetu. We will see how the Lamb of God frees us from the burden of guilt. Vidit ćemo kako nas to jagnje Božje oslobađa naše krivice. We will see how the lamb frees us from sin. Vidit ćemo kako nas ono oslobađa od greha. We see how the lamb can assure us of eternal life. Kako nas to jagnje može osigurati ili ohrabrati za vječni život. Let's go back to the beginning. Idemo natrag na početak. Adam and Eve disobeyed a direct command from God. Adam i Eva su bili neposlušni izravnom Božjom naredbi. And to disobey a command of God is sin. Dakle, nisu poslušali Božju zapovjed koja je rekla. And God said that if they disobeyed and ate of the certain tree, da je Bog rekao ako će biti neposlušni i uzeti od tog određenog drveta, they would die. Oni će umreti. The Bible tells us in Romans 6 and verse 23 just simply the wages of sin is death. All right, that was quick. When Adam and Eve sinned, God said you must bring a substitute. Vi rekao je njima, vi morate sada doneti jednog zamjenika. A sacrifice. Žrtvu. A lamb that will die in your place. Jagnje koje će umreti umjesto vas. And following God's instructions, Adam brought the pure spotless lamb. I prema tom Božjom uputi, Adam je doveo čisto, lijepo jagnje. And as Adam watched this innocent lamb die, his heart was broken. I tako je to nevino jagne umrlo, a njegovo srce, Adamo, je bilo slomljeno. Throughout the Old Testament, God instructed his people to bring animal sacrifices. Kroz cijeli stavlj zavet, Bog je u stvari upučivao ljude da dovedu jagnjat u mjesto kao platu za svoj grih. And every day animals were sacrificed at the sanctuary. I bilo je to sve te žrtve su bile prenošene sve kroz stoljeća, sve do Isusa. And what did it mean when a sinner brought his sam, his lamb to the sanctuary? Dakle, šta je to značilo kad je grešnik doveo jagnje do svetinje? Can a animal actually atone for the life of man? Da li može biti stvarno jaganac kao zamjena za čovjeka i taj Or did all of these symbols actually direct us to something else? Let's imagine in those days there was an Israelite named Josiah. Josiah gets angry at his neighbor and they begin to fight. Jošva je išao na svog suseda i bio je s njime se tukao. He hits his neighbor in the face and then knocks him to the ground. 
And at this time, the man has a bloody nose and mouth. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no he just had a bloody nose and mouth. He was beat up. Yeah. So at this time, Josiah comes to evening prayer. He senses that he has sinned. A sense that he has wronged his neighbor. So he goes over to his neighbor. And he apologizes. But this guilt rests upon Josiah. The guilt rests Aha, upon Josiah. And he knows that he must take a lamb back to the sanctuary. As he takes the spotless lamb, his neighbors see him and know that he has sinned. They know that he is guilty. So he goes to the sanctuary, he kneels. Yeah. Placing his hands on the head of the animal. <clears throat> confesses his sin. And plunges the knife through the lamb's throat. You know, the blood runs down his knee and the animal falls limp. As it dies, the priest catches the blood in a basin. The animal is put on a brazen altar and its flesh is consumed. Now before this happened, Josiah was weighed down with a burden. He was weighed down with a burden of guilt. But as he confesses his sin over the head of the animal, something, something amazing begins to happen. This takes us to Leviticus 5. Five and six. Shall I read? Yes, please. Ako dakle tko postane odgovoran u bilo čemu od toga, neka prizna počinjeni grijeh. When Josiah confesses his sin, kad je taj Josija priznao svoj grijeh, that sin is transferred to the animal. On je onda prebačen na životinju. But the animal only becomes symbolically guilty. A ta životinja samo simbolično postaje kriva. Josiah disobeyed God's law. Josiah nije poslušao Božji zakon. He deserved to die. On je zaslužio da umre. But the sacrifice died instead. Ali ta žrtva je umrla umjesto njega. And Josiah was freed from guilt and from penalty. I tako je taj Josija oslobođen od greha i krivice. And I don't know about you, but I've always wondered why did God require these countless acts of thousands of sacrifices? Did the animals actually give the sinner eternal life? Did they cleanse the people from sins? Or did it actually point us to something else? In the book of Hebrews, we find the answers. We'll read in Hebrews 9, verses 11 and 12. Stih 11 i 12 u 9. poglavlju kaže Krist se pak pojavi kao veliki svećenik 
budući dobara, dobara, budućih dobara, dakle menici svećenih budućih dobara, pa po većem i savršenijem šatoru, nerukotvorenu koji nije od ovoga svijeta. Continue. All right. I have to open. Okay. On je rekao da dalje Here, čitam. Just repeat. Not with blood of goats and calves. Na, da. da ponovimo. Ne od krvi uh, koza ili ovaca. But with his own blood he entered the most holy place once and for all. Isus je ušao u najsvetije mjesto jednom za uvijek. Having obtained eternal redemption. Uh, I tako je on zadobio uh, vječno otkupljenje. It takes us to verse 28. I to nas uvodi u stih 28. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. Tako je Krist jednom žrtvovan i podnio grehe mnogih, preuzeo grehe mnogih. All the sacrificial animals points us to Christ. Sve ta životinje za žrtve nas upućuju na Isusa Krista. You see, you don't have to go to a pastor or a priest ne trebaš ići k pastoru ili svećeniku. We can give all of our problems to Jesus. <clears throat> Možemo sve naše probleme predati Isusu. Christ is our true high priest. Isus je naš pravi uh, svećenik, prvo svećenik. Many years ago, prije mnogo godina, I had told you shortly on Sunday just a little bit of my life. U nedelju sam vam samo prikazao ili rekao malo samo epizode iz mog života. And when I left Christ, ostavio sam Krista. Let's go back to 1995. To je bilo 1995. Croatia just a few years free. Hrvatska je bila samo par godina slobodna. I joined the church. Ja sam se vratio u crkvu. Yet as I moved into high school, moved into high school. Aha, kad sam ušao u u uh, školu u, na univerzitet It was not long nije bio zakon before my mother ended up in federal prison oh, right, sorry. nije bilo dugo da moja mama nije otišla u zatvor and this took me back away from the church <clears throat> i to me je onda od, odvratilo od crkve you see i wanted to do my own thing <clears throat> ja sam želio da živim svoj život na svoj način. I did not trust God anymore. Nisam više imao povjerenja u Boga. I wanted to play music. Tio sam da sviram, da radim muziku, da. And travel throughout the country. I da putujem po, po cijeloj Americi. You see, but before I came back to the church, ali prije nego što sam se vratio u crkvu, I was married. Ja sam se oženio. And I did unspeakable things to my wife. Ivan? Unspeakable things to my wife. You did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right. Tell on me. Da je učinio strašne stvari njegovoj suprozi. Things that I'm not proud of. Koje, stvari koje ja nisam ponosan sada. You see, <clears throat> these were things that I struggled with when I came back into the church. Vidite, to su bile stvari koje, s kojim sam se ja borio prije nek što sam se vratio u crkvu. I was bearing all this guilt, all this sin. Ja sam nosio na svoj neđa sav taj prestup sve te grehe. And I'm so glad that my wife had already forgiven me. I ja sam tako sretan bio da je moja supruga već meni oprostila. But I still bear the guilt of what I had done. Ali ja sam još uvijek bio opterećen i nosio sam teret onoga što sam učinio. So I went to the pastor. I ja sam otišao do pastora. He became my mentor. On je postao moj uh, savjetnik, mentor. And I said for years I have carried this burden of guilt. I rekao sam mu, priznao sam mu, za godinama ja sam to nosio na sebi, taj tu krivicu. This guilt has crushed my spirits. <clears throat> Ova krivica je uništila u stvari uništila moj duh. It has taken all the joy out of my life. Izvukla svu radost iz mog života. You see the drugs, the alcohol and the music. Droga, alkohol i muzika. All numb the pain of the things that I have done. I sve ono drugo je to je bio bol koji sam ja učinio. But it was still breaking my heart. 
And at this point I was sober. No longer using any of these things as a substitute. And the pastor gently responded and said, if you lived in the Old Testament, you would bring a lamb and confess your sin over the head of the lamb. The guilt would be transferred to that lamb which would die in your place. As the blood would be taken to the sanctuary, you would be free from guilt. But I'm so glad at what the pastor said next. <clears throat> I'm so glad at what the pastor ja, said next. Jako da je pastor kazao he said, your problem is you don't have a lamb. Problem da sada nemaš to jagnje, but I'm not sure ali nisam siguran, if you've truly given it all over to your Savior. Ali nisam siguran da li si zaista sve predao svom spasitelju. If you kneel before him confessing your sin, da si pokleknuo pred njim, pred njime i priznao svoj grijeh, the burden is taken from our shoulders. Taj teret bi bio skinut s tvoje leđa. Our guilt is wiped clean because there was a lamb. Svi oni su bili očišćeni zato što je bilo tamo jagnje. Every lamb or sacrifice pointed forward to the Lamb of God. Christ. You see, as I gave it to Jesus, I was forgiven of all unrighteousness. You see, a sinner in the Old Testament would never be free from guilt until they acknowledged it by bringing the Lamb. But now, as we acknowledge our guilt to God, as we come to prayer confessing our problems to God, possibly even to the one who we have wronged, we find forgiveness and relief from guilt. This may seem like a very basic concept, but it is often overlooked. We can be free from addictions and all of our pain Mi možemo se osloboditi od tih koje kakvih poruka i naših greha that keeps us going back to them. Koje nas sprečavaju od Boga. But we have to be willing to stop hiding from the Almighty God. Ali možemo, moramo biti spremni da to ne nakup, ne skupljamo pred Bogom. When we know and acknowledge our guilt i znamo da ako priznamo svoje we need to confess to God the specifics of what we have done. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So we don't have to be perfect. We are only made perfect by Jesus. The gift of God can be freely accepted by anybody who wants it. It says this in Hebrews 9 and verse 14. 
koji po duhu vječnom samoga sebe bez mane prinese Bogu. And cleanse your conscience from dead works i očistiti savjest našu to, s- djela, to serve the living God. Na službu Bogu živom. Our conscience can be cleansed. Naša savjest se može očistiti. Our guilt can be forever removed. Naša krivica se može za uvijek skinuti iz naših ljudi. Guilt creates fear, it creates anxiety. Krivica stvara strah i anxiety. Guilt destroys us on the very inside. Uznemirenost, ja, anksioznost i bolest. It eats out our heart of our lives. Kaže on, ono pojede naše srce u nama, dušu našu. But we have somebody that we can go to. Ali mi imamo nekoga kod kome se možemo obratiti i ići do njega. As it says in the song, kao što je rekla u pjesmi, u pjesmi kaže, Who can wash away my sins? Ko može oprati moj greh? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Ništa drugo osim krv Isusa. You see, it did not matter the things that I have done in my past. Uh, prema tome ne, ništa ne znači što sam ja učinio u prošlosti because I've given them to Jesus. Jer sam ja to predao Isusu Kristu. There is only one who can take away all guilt. Jedino jedan postoji ko može ukloniti sva svu krivicu. I'm standing here as the chief sinner in the room. So ovdje stojim kao najveći grešnik svijeta. Yet we all need forgiveness today. So don't sit out there and judge me. Because guilt does terrible things to us. Guilt can rob us of true peace and ruin our lives forever. Krivica može nam uzeti onaj pravi mir i učiniti nas nesretnima za stan. There's only one that can take away sin. There is only one who can redeem us. Koji može uskinuti našu krivicu i spasiti nas. It says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. U 2. Korinčanima 5:21 kaže njega for he ja that is God. Isusa ja made him that is Jesus Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for us Bog za nas grehom učini da mi budemo pravednost Božja u njemu And you may wonder why did he do this Možda se pitamo kako to da je to Bog učinio that we might become the righteousness of God in him da mi možemo postati pravda Božja u njemu. It's very important to know that Jesus never sinned. I jako je vrlo važno da znamo da Isus nije nikad zgrešio. But he became sin for us. Ali je on postao grešan radi nas, preuzeo našu krivicu. When Christ hung on the cross, kad je bio visio na križu Isus Krist, he experienced more than pain of nails in his hands and feet. On je prošao kroz nevolju osjetio mnogo više nego samo probodene ruke i, i noge. It was much more than physical suffering. To je bilo mnogo više nego samo taj fizički bol. As he hung on the cross, kad je visio na križu, the darkness of all sin broke his heart. Ta tama i pritisak svih greha, svih svijet vremena slomila je njegovo srce. That's why as he hung there alone he died crying out. Zato je on tamo visio i uh, povikao My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Bože moj, Bože moj, zašto si me ostavio? Jesus was bearing the literal guilt of humanity. Isus je bio uh, uh, sahranjen i A ah. ah, ja, Isus je nosio da uh, his only goal was to save us. Aha. To bear for you and I the burden of everything we've done wrong. It's important, this next verse. It is important this next verse. Aha, ovaj sljedeći stih je jako važan. It says for by grace you have been saved through faith. Uh, 
ta milošću ste spašeni po po vjeri and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest anyone should boast salvation is a free gift and when does God want to give it to us right now if I was to <clears throat> hand him this 50 euro, right? And let's say he puts it in his pocket. What did he do to earn it? He earned it by nothing. It is only by faith. He, he believed that I would hand him the 50 dollar euro, or the, sorry, not dollar, 50 euro. Yeah. On but did you earn it? No, it was a free gift. God wants to do the same thing for all of us. He does not want us to be guilty. He wants to give us salvation. Amen? Amen. I don't know what you're going through. And I'm going to begin to wrap up here. But my question is, have you disobeyed and done that which you knew to be wrong? And done now which you knew to be wrong? You can come now to Jesus with all guilt and with all sin. You see, there are five things that we need. Five things. To receive the gift of eternal life. Number one, we need to accept the fact that God loves us. We need to recognize that we cannot save ourselves. We need to believe that Jesus can and will save us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish or die but have everlasting life. We can never save ourselves. It is impossible but I'm so glad that God loves us. So we must believe that He will save us. So if I say, take this 50 euro, are you going to take it? Oh, yes, why not? Thank you. Do you believe it? <laughs> yes, you believe I will yeah, give it to yeah, you. Yeah. This is Christ. This is God. We must believe. <laughs> We must confess our sins to Jesus and believe that we are forgiven. And 1 John 1 verse 9 it says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So it's time that we come right now. Confess our sins to Jesus and believe that we have been forgiven. One last one. We must claim his gift of eternal life and decide to serve him forever. You see, people all over the world are making this decision. 
čine te odluke i da I had to make the same decision. I had to make I had to make the same decision. Ja isto to trebam sada učiniti, učinio sam. I was bearing the the burden of the things I had done wrong. Ja sam nosio taj teret svog života za dugo. The drugs. The alcohol, the lying. The cheating. Cheating. Ah, cheating. Varanje, da. Terrible things. Strašne stvari. I don't stand here proudly boasting about them. But I know you're all going through something different. You, you see, if God can free me of this sin, and within five years bring me to Croatia, what can he do in your life? You see, it doesn't take a long time. God wants to save each and every single one of us. But are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing to give it to Jesus? Are you willing to understand that He is the answer? He is the only answer. So don't look at me like I'm some terrible person. Because Jesus has forgiven me. And I, I do different things now. I follow the Spirit wherever He sends me. Whether it's to Croatia, Africa, West Virginia, Ohio, it does not matter. I want to tell somebody about Jesus. And every person in this room could reach another person for Christ. We can each one reach one. But first, we must confess of our sins and allow Jesus to forgive us. And we cannot worry about what other people say about us. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. But I care about what Jesus thinks. So I'm not sure what you are struggling with at this moment. And you might say, Pastor, you make it seem so easy. Lots of people, when they let go of their problems, it may take years. It may take years. But for me, when I truly committed to Christ, and I committed once and for all, it was all gone in an instance. Are you willing to do that tonight? Are you willing to give everything over to Jesus? This is my question for you tonight. And you don't have to answer. But you do have to answer to Him. You have to make a decision tonight. Not publicly. But privately to Jesus. 
Trust me when I say that you can give it all over to him, brothers and sisters. Vjerujte mi, imate pomirenja kad vam kažem, ako predate sve Kristu. I was all alone. Da se će se to desiti. Ja sam bio sam, sam sam. I lived an extravagant life. Živio sam jedan ekstravagantni život. I wanted for nothing. I wanted Aha, for nothing. Nisam, nisam ni, ničemu uh, bio nikakvoj oskudici. But I was breaking on the inside. Što se tiče života, ali sam iznutra se lomio. If you feel that way, ako se tako osjećate, as we begin to pray, kad se budemo molili, I want you to give that problem to Jesus tonight. Ja bih vas molio da vi predate svoj problem Isusu. Let's pray. Molit ćemo se. Father in heaven, nebeski oče, forgive me, oprosti nam, for where I have failed you. Father, forgive us all where we have failed you. And help us make our way back to the cross. Father, we thank you and praise you that you sent your son Jesus to die for us. So forgive us each and every day Svaki dan, Father, somebody here is struggling with something. Uh, oče, upravo sada ovdje neko možda se s nečim bori. And as they let go of it, i molim te da mu pomogneš da to od, o, da se oslobodi toga. Father, forgive them. Uh, oče, oprosti mu. Father, as we commit to you now, i kad se oče mi sada tebi posvećujemo, predajemo, we pray that your spirit will take hold of us. Molimo te da tvoj duh uzme nas ka takve kakvi jesmo. Father, I have done terrible things. Oče, ja sam loše stvari učinio u prošlosti. But by your son's blood, ali sa tvojom sa milošću tvog sina, you have made me clean. Ti si me očistio. Father, I pray you'll do the same for each person here tonight. Ja te molim, oče, da bi, da bi ti učinio to za svaku osobu ovog večera ovdje prisutno. We pray these things in the name who is all together lovely. Mi to sve molimo u tvoje ime. The name that is above all names. Ime koje je iznad svih imena. The precious name of Jesus Christ we pray. Uh, tu predragoceno ime Isusa Krista. Amen. Amen.